Welcome to a color compare where we're looking at the Citadel Auric Flesh. This is a relatively new color to the Citadel line. It was part of their most recent release uh, as of the recording of this video. They don't have new colors coming out too often, so that was kind of a big deal that they released this one. It's part of them releasing the uh, Oryx into Age of Sigmar. And so here's a look at that color. You will notice uh, one thing if you follow these color compare videos. We're going over straight black now. The new swatch sticks have just black as the undercoat. I wasn't getting a lot of useful information with the white underneath also. So if you want to see one of these over white, you think it'll make a difference, just let me know and we'll uh, try to swatch one over white. I'll make some white swatch sticks or something like that. So here we go. We've got the auric flesh and our two top contenders on the army painter side and of, and neither capturing quite that kind of olivey drabby and maybe I just don't have the right colors because you would think this kind of this I want to call it an olive drab maybe that's the wrong term for it uh, you would think the army painter would have it's very, a very army looking color but if, if they have it I haven't seen it and I don't have it so let me know what you think if you have one from them this one, interestingly, cracked pretty good in drawing, this jungle green. I have to say the jungle green, uh, color-wise, you know, pretty far off. It's a lot uh, kind of uh, more neon. But also, this stuff is hard to mix up. Let me tell you about the jungle green. So, I really like the Army Painter paints, and yes, you have to shake them very thoroughly when you use them. This jungle green was still giving me fits, and even when I painted it on, it still kind of has that cracking uh, to it which I don't think you'd get on a miniature, because uh, I put it on, you know, fairly thick, did a couple coats there, uh, while it was still kind of drying. The, about the closest color I could find to this auric flesh is actually this here, and this is surprising, this is actually Soldier Green from the Zombicide set, and that's a set that is new to me, uh, but I got a set of it, uh, there'll be an unboxing of it eventually, I mean, obviously I've unboxed it, but I filmed it, when I did it. So you're going to likely be seeing this video before that unboxing is out. But that's from that Zombicide set. As far as I know, you cannot get that separately. I don't know, pretty close. It's kind of a neat color. It's about the closest we've got. So there's those kind of, um, I want to say more like brighter greens. I did grab a couple of more drab greens from the Army Painter as well. And so we have Scaly Hide and Necrotic Flesh. There's that jungle green, by the way. Here's scaly hide and necrotic flesh. Necrotic flesh, the advantage here, has that 100% color match. So that's really handy if that's what you're going for, if you want to prime them. But you'll notice that is quite a bit muted compared to that auric flesh. We can put it right up against there. Very muted, that necrotic flesh. It's almost like a death guard green is what it really is. But even then, it's not, not quite. We'll do a color compare on that to death guard green later. That'll be one of the ones that pops up in that color compare. Scaly hide, not a bad idea. Certainly you could just say, oh, my Oryx are this, you know, scaly hide color. And that's, you know, it's just, it's a different option. Very similar finish on those two, just a slightly different color. So it's kind of up to you. If you really want to paint, you know, like the Games Workshop box art, well, I mean, you're going to want, you know, probably some of the Games Workshop colors. But if you already have some of these colors laying around from the Army Painter, or you want something like, you know, a color matching primer, uh, which they do not have in the Auric Flesh uh, from Citadel, you know, you might have some options there. So, there you go. Those are the closest colors I could find to that Auric Flesh. But also, this is just a chance for you to see, you know, oh, hey, I was thinking of, you know, getting jungle green for something. Is it what I want? What's well, a very bright, almost neony green? If that's what you want, that's what you, you know, you're getting. Maybe you want soldier green, little muted, still fairly bright. Maybe you're going for a scaly hide. It's almost, I don't want to, I don't know if I dare call that a minty green. It's kind of a subdued, too subdued for a mint color, almost. And then we have our necrotic flesh there at the bottom. You know, maybe that's the color that you want. Maybe that's the color you're going for. So that's the goal of these videos, right, is to give you that comparison, let you decide for yourself which one of these colors works for your project. So there you go. As far as coverage-wise, uh, they're all great. 
The Jungle Green gave me a little bit of fits in the mixing, but once I got it mixed up, it was just fine. The rest of these, excellent coverage all around, all good paints. You can't go wrong with any of them. I hope this helps you in picking one of these for your next project. Hey, thanks for watching. Take care.